and this is Power Mix. Choreographed by Maddie Glover, it's 84 counts, but only one wall. Now, if you like my videos, make sure you press the like button down below, and if you want to watch more of my demos and teaches, make sure you subscribe. Now, if you want to watch me teach Power Mix, please keep watching. Okay, so A is 32 counts, but it's actually only eight, and it ends with a quarter turn, so you just repeat it three extra times. So it's 32 counts, but really you only have to learn eight counts and then just do it to all four walls, okay? So the eight counts are, they're all and counts, by the way, just to keep in mind. So we start, one, with our toe and our knee coming in. One and you turn your foot out and you do the heel, okay? So we're going one and now we're going to hitch our right knee up on three. Uh, I lied on two. So that's one and two. We're going to put it down and we're going to make sort of a jazz box by going back, side, cross, and then we're into the side. So it's like a variation on a jazz box, I'm going to call it, okay? So those counts are one and two and three and four and. Now we just step to the side with our right foot and we're going to twist our heels to the right. Five, we're going to twist our toes to the right and we're going to hitch our left knee this time and we're going to rotate to face 1030. Okay? So, we just stepped out after our jazz box variation, and we go five and six. You're stepping back on and, so you're still on that diagonal. Now we're going to make three eighths of a turn to square up to three o'clock. Stepping on our right foot, we're going to step on our left foot to the side, step behind and side. Okay. So those counts are from five and six and seven and eight and. Now you've learned all of A. All you have to do is learn it to all the walls. Okay, so I'm going to take you through that. But once again, from the top, as they like to do. We go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and next wall one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and let's do it again one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one more wall. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Awesome job, you just did all of A. Okay, I wanna make a special note that A is pretty quick, okay, with all the and counts. So be aware of that when you do B, it slows down significantly. So just keep that in mind when you're dancing it. A is real quick and cute. Yeah, boom, 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 right? But B is gonna be nice and slow. We're really taking our time. We're going more to the um, melody than the hard beat that's behind it for all of A, okay? This might be weird, but you know, I like to do weird things. <laughs> okay, um, so now let's learn B. Okay. So B is 36 counts, but really it's 32 counts with like four extra arms, um, four extra counts that you do arms on, on a couple of the verses, okay? So let's learn B. We start crossing our right foot over our left foot on one. You're going to want to be up on your toe for this part because styling, just because styling. <laughs> So we go one, we're going to step to the side, two, cross again, three, step to the side, and step behind with our right foot, 
four, step to the diagonal, our 1030 diagonal, for and, okay? And, I don't know if you noticed, hopefully you did, that I'm adding some hip movements in there, okay? So it's nice and slow, like I was saying before. So, as you take your step, and I rotate to face you, as I take this step, I'm not just crossing. I'm crossing and twisting my body, okay? So I'm going cross and cross. And as I take my side step, I let my hips rotate around, okay? It's like in rumba or cha-cha or any of those Latin dances where you see people do the figure eight with their hips. Okay, let me turn to the side so you can see. We're going like this with our hips. Okay, so as we take that step, I have my side forward. Now as I take my next step, I'm gonna press into that hip and step to the side. Now I'm in the middle of the figure eight. I'm gonna finish it to take my next step, okay? So, the figure eight happens between the two steps. I'm at the top, rotating around, in the middle, rotating around, top again. Okay, so if I do it faster, it looks like ba, 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 ba. Okay, so that's kind of what we're going for. If you don't want to do the hips, then just do it like this. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay? No hips necessary. But if you want to try them, I'll give you a gold star. <laughs> okay, so again, we go one, two, three, and four, and. Now I'm at my 1030 corner. We're going to rock, recover, rock, recover, rock, recover for five, and six, and seven, and. Okay? But you don't want to just go rock, recover, rock, recover, rock, recover. Okay? We're doing our hips again. I'm going to move back to the center. We're doing our hips again. So, we're rotating as we're doing those rock recovers. So instead of going rock, recover, rock, recover, see how much time this takes just to do this? I'm going to press into that foot, roll. Now I'm already back on that back foot. Press into the foot, roll. Press, roll. Okay, so the figure eight, instead of going this way, like we did before, it's now going more like front and back on the diagonal. Okay, let me do it facing you. So I'm here, rock, recover, rock, recover, rock, recover. Again, this is all optional styling. These are just my little technique and styling tips that I like to throw into my videos, okay? So from the top of B, we go one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven and now to finish out this eight count we're going to step behind with our right foot and side with our left foot squaring up to nine o'clock now we're going to do it again facing nine o'clock so we go one two three and four and five and six and seven and eight and Good job, you've learned half of B. <laughs> Moving on, we're stepping across our left foot with our right foot, unless you have an extra foot that I don't know about. So we go one, and here, you may notice I'm gonna take a heel step because I really wanna travel on this next part. We're gonna turn ourselves around and then go into a diamond. So it's more fun. To be honest, it's just more fun and it looks cool if you can travel a lot on those. If I'm doing a diamond and I'm like this, it looks good if it's like a really fast dance, right? But if it's a slow section like this part is, you really want to take up all the floor and just knock people over. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Um, okay, so we're going to step across on one. We're going to make a quarter turn to our right, stepping back on our left foot for two. We're going to finish our half turn around by stepping to the side on our right foot on and and stepping across with our left foot on three. So again, we want to go one, two, and three. See how you float around on that turn from your momentum from the big step? That's what we want. Okay, after you've just stepped across on three, we're going to step to the side four, 
crossing and setting side five. From there, we're going to start our diamond. So we're going to turn to our 10, 30 diagonal, and we're going to step back with our left, back with our right, and then we're going to square up to 9 o'clock, stepping to the side. We're going to switch to our next diagonal, which is 730, and we're going to go forward, forward, square up to the back. Then we're going to switch to our next diagonal, which is 430, and we're going to go back, back, except for this time we're going to end turning all the way to the front. Okay, and that's our diamond. Let me break it down. We're going to step back six, step back and seven. Next corner, eight and one, two and three. Now we're going to step, lock, step with our right foot, four and five. I'm going to take a step and I'm going to pivot turn. Now I'm going to finish this turn stepping back and I'm going to step out together. Let me give you the counts. This is six and seven, eight and, or eight and. Technically you can step together for all of it and then just step out on one, but I just like to step out right away. It makes it easier and who doesn't like easy? The last four counts of B are our tag section because you only do them a couple times. So all we're going to do is if you haven't already stepped out, you're going to step out and we're going to raise our arms. Boom, boom for one, two. And then we're going to go three, bending our right arm and bending our left arm and we're making an X, okay? And we just drop our hands on four. Facing you, that looks like this. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and it says like, I got the power, or something like that. So that's when you know you got, you got to do that. All right, and that's all of B. Let's try it from the top. From the top of B, we go one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, I'm still on camera, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, Six and seven, eight and tag, one, two, three and four. Awesome job, that's all of B. C is only 16 counts. We're going to step one and clap two and three, open our knees, and four. We're going to step our right side out on five and six and seven, eight and. Okay, let me break that down for you. We're going to step out with our right, out with our left, clap. We step together, right, left. Now, here I'm just going to bend my legs and open my knees as I go up onto my toes. Boom, I'm going to close them. Then I'm going to step on the diagonal with my right foot. I'm going to flick my left foot up, but in order to look cooler, you want to like sit into that. Then you're going to go back on that diagonal. And as we take our step, we're going to square up to 9 o'clock. So we're going back on our diagonal. We're squaring up. And as we do that, we suck this little right foot in for a knee pop. Knee pop, knee pop. Okay, let's do that again. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and. Next eight count, we're going to rock recover. One, two and three. You step forward on our left. We're going to quarter turn to the front. We're going to step across, big side rock, recover, back, 
side. Now, with arms, that goes, we're here, we're going to go rock, recover, and step, pivot, quarter, cross, rock. We're going to bring our arms out really big. We're going to cross them like we're angry as we step back, side. Okay? Facing you. That last part goes rock and back, side. So we're just going like, mm. okay? All and C from the top. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and one, two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the stance has one tag, but it's real easy. All we're going to do is eight counts. We're just going to step out, out, in, in for B step. We do it again, out, out, in, in, triple to the diagonal of 130, triple, change to 1030, triple. There's also arms on the first B step. We just go room, room together, together because it says something about a motorbike, so we're riding our motorbike. Okay, also to note, the first part goes slow, boom, boom, and then it goes faster. Da 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 da. Okay, um, on the step sheet it's just noted as regular, but the music speeds up, okay? So, you're going one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. <laughs> That's more what the counts kind of are, okay? That's all of Power Mix. All right, y'all, that was Power Mix. Awesome job. Now remember, if you like this video, press that like button down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, y'all, this is Power I'm Mega Wheeler, and this is Power Mix. Awesome job. Quinters?